familiar with John Wooden. John Wooden. A reporter asked him, this guy won, uh, his teams from UCLA won more basketball games uh, in hi- than anybody else in history. A reporter asked him, out of all the championship games, out of all the different things that you've experienced over your storied career, what day would you relive? If you could, what day would you relive? What do you think he said? Oh, man, that championship and that particular year, that particular day. And you think Jose Altuve would want to relive what happened last week when he hit that, that home run, that homer that sent him to the World Series? We got some crazy people over there. They're all dressed in orange, and guys got an Astros jacket, and guys got orange pants, Astros shirt, and everything. Well, they lost two games. He's like, they need this. <laughs> they need some encouragement, right? So people expected, okay, what championship is he going to tell us? That's not what he said. Anybody know what he said? Give me another practice day. I'll take another practice day any day, any time, because he knew the importance of practice. If there's one word I want you to remember when it comes to mastering these systems, mastering the shot, making the shot automatic, practice. Do you know that that man made his basketball players tie their shoe, put their socks on and put their shoes on and tie their shoes a certain way? Do you know that? Fundamentals, basics. Um, no amount of business success can compensate for failure at home. Right? That's number one. That's number one. What's your one thing in your business? The one thing that makes that happen. We need to understand that. And it means giving the best that you have so that you can become the best. You have to give the best to become the best. It doesn't happen overnight. All right. Brenda's late husband said this. Now, Brenda is the highest ranking American female in Taekwondo in the world. That's called mastery. In fact, her official title is Senior Grandmaster Brenda J. Sell, now Jones. She married a leadership master by the name of Rick Jones. Amen on that one? He said that, uh, that a black belt is simply a white belt that never quit. Gary Keller said this. He said, white belts know the same moves that black belts know. They just haven't practiced them enough to do them well. So uh, a white belt knows the stance, knows the actual moves, but they just haven't practiced them enough for them to become automatic. They know how to, she even showed me, she showed me, here's how you break through a board. I know how to do it, but I can't do it because I haven't practiced it. That's not my one thing. That will never be my one thing as far as I know. God has the permission to change that, amen, but I can't see that path at all, okay? Um, He said the the creativity you see at a black belt level comes from Mastery of what? The white belt fundamentals. Mastering the fundamentals. See, we want to advance to the next level. Zig Ziglar said this. He said that, he said, the more you learn about any subject, the more creative you can be become uh, because of it. What does this say? The creativity you see. Now, when you learn how to break bricks, I can break bricks like, Okay, I did it. Or you can put some flair into that thing, right? Did Michael Jordan have some flair? Yes. 
He put some creativity into it, a little entertainment. 